Peachy Rooties, welcome back to a new video. I am super excited because today we are gonna be making my dream house. What's that, Claire? You've already made your dream house before. You had a whole series on it. You went to get to episode 100 and you stopped at like 98 because that's just the kind of person you are. Yes, that is correct. However, today we are gonna be making a dream house. But with this being 2020, it's not 2016, 17? When did I start Dreamhouse? I don't know, but it's not then anymore. It is now, and uh, now we are eco warriors. So we are gonna be making an eco dream house. It's gonna be based on my personal needs, my personal wants, and a beautiful dream house that I would love to live in one day if I was a little eco warrior, which kind of low key on. So um, hopefully, we're gonna make something pretty amazing. And don't forget, if you guys enjoy this video, give it a big cheeky thumbs up. I actually stream this on my Twitch channel, but I'm gonna make it all nice and compact and short for you guys in a YouTube video. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's build ourselves a dream eco home. This is the plot of land I have chosen for this build. It is in, is it Grim, Grim Valley, Grim, Grim Shaw, Grim, Grim, the Grim part of the neighborhood, which is actually also the most picturesque part of the neighborhood. So it makes no sense whatsoever, but it is next to the flooded quarry. It actually has the eco rating of green when you first join. Mine has since developed into neutral, but what can you do? And this is gonna be our plot. So it's not a huge plot. We can't do anything ridiculously big, but we're gonna still try and do something really cool. So one thing that I've seen of cool eco houses online and something I wanna do is they make use of underground of the house. So sorry, I've got an all of a hair in my eye. Why is this neighborhood so trash by the way? Like why have I got a fridge here? My eco house is gonna look, I have to put like trees around it or something just to hide it because it's gonna look so weird and trash with all of this trash around it, but whatever. Okay, I like houses that have an entrance way. So yeah, one thing that I've said I would quite like to do is have um, a bedroom section downstairs as well. So I'm just gonna kind of pre-build this so we've got it ready. If you're wondering why a bedroom downstairs, um, it's because it makes perfect sense. It's cool, it's dark. Apparently I'm a bat because I like to sleep where it's cool and dark. So I think having a bedroom where you didn't need to keep opening and closing the curtains. To be fair, you won't get woken up by cute little birdies in the morning, which is kind of sad. And there won't be any streaming light going through. But this is an eco house and the whole house is gonna feel, uh, that room is gonna be cool. And that's the best option for sleeping, which means you won't need aircon and you won't need essential heating. So, in actual fact, it makes perfect sense. But don't worry, it doesn't mean we're not going upstairs. And what I would actually like to do is have a little bit of an extension out of the house on one side, like I saw a cool house online. Then at the back, if we have a pool, don't worry, these aren't permanent locations. I'm just throwing stuff down, just throwing a little bits and bobs down. If you have a pool, then you get the option to have some of the pool, like underwater, uh, sorry, under shade. Which if you're like me, I like swimming in pools. Like I like going on a holiday and having a pool. However, I really don't like being in the sun. Like I hate being in the sun. So it always like whenever I'm in the pool, I'm always like, oh, I, I kind of really wish I wasn't in the sun while I was doing this. So I thought this would be like a cool way that if you're like me and you're not really about that tan in life, you could still feel like you were like in a pool. And I also want to do, you know, the cool like, thing you can do with the steps to make it look like you've got really cool steps going up to your pool. So I'll try and do that as well. There's a load of cool building hacks that I see online. Oh my gosh, the bedroom come back onto the pool. This could actually be nice because let me just put like a whole glass like shindig along here. Oh my gosh, look, if you put them, the pool would all just flow through, lol. I don't know why my eco house needs such a huge pool, but it does. Um, these should definitely have some little things to keep them up. Cause otherwise that just to me looks very dangerous. Did they give us any new eco living? They did. Aww. I also don't know what colors to go for. I'm, I'm gonna go really green actually. Really green and dark wood I think is a cool combo. And why can't I make that go like below ground? Don't you think it's, it looks a little bit weird that it's not below ground? It doesn't even need to like go either side of it. Uh, oh, it's gonna have to go like that. This is kind of getting into a bit of a weird shape pool. You know what? It's easy. Let's just make it float. We kind of have a house going so far. I also feel like it's not very cool looking right now. Do we want another floor with that hanging plants? Yeah, let's do another floor. But is this getting really big? Are the neighbors gonna put in a housing complaint? Potentially. I mean, they didn't go back. They went backwards for the top run. Okay, and then they put glass and then you actually get a balcony. Okay, that wakes so much more sense. I'm not copying that house. So low key at this point, Mabes, I don't know. Uh, just throwing up shapes and seeing what we get. Right now, let's face it, this actually offends my eyes with its ugliness. But it's not gonna stay looking like this. Oh, living roof. But I also want glass roof. No, let's go live in. This one here is gonna be a top garden. Top garden. Now it's just a bunch of squares. And houses look quite boring if they're bunches of squares. So we could take like, if I go down a floor, I build a room within a room. 
like maybe just like here and we could do something cool there like a little plant garden or just like something just to like mix things up a little bit or a balcony but like a balcony where you're not in the sun so my kind of balcony you know something a bit more interesting okay okay i'm trying to use as much eco live and stuff as i can although is that kind of uggs i feel like this might be very uggs oh i kind of like it in orange though okay 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 i could put it on here as well oh no is that is that just me or is that at least seven uglies out of ten it might be. Oh, you know what though? So like, say to the neighbors, you can't look in. <laughs> you can't spy on my balcony. I actually think it's a whole vibe for that. So we're gonna block the neighbors out. <laughs> Just gonna try a few different ones. Oh no, that's like prison. Prison. Does that kind of look like a strawberry milkshake now? <laughs> Can I make the world to pink too? I mean, you wanna dye your hair? Just get in that pool and you will have my hair. I don't think we should do that. Oh, wow. <gasps> okay, I feel like I have to put a mini pool inside that has petals in it. Cause let's face it, that's pretty vibey. This music is vibey. Can you guys hear the music? <gasps> you guys are saying, don't. I'm like, this is my eco home. Also, here is my indoor pool full of, um, flowers because i'm an idiot that is what this house is turning into okay let's just go for this for now because i think it's it fits the vibe the best i know it's not particularly new and i think for this bit here what i would like is a roof that's glass so that when you come into the house there's lots of light without needing lights hashtag eco hashtag eco living hashtag weights not called that hashtag eco lifestyle hashtag it looks like a bee a, a beehive now like that and did they give us any cool new like top things to put on your house to make it more eco other than wind turbines they're in this as well oh my god yes. but we have to put them in a way that the neighbors aren't gonna be like oh why does she have stupid turbines on top of her roof oh my gosh look at the chic chimney oh my gosh really i did i'm gonna put one of these little guys on as well glorious you love to see it. You love to see it. When everything comes together like that, you just love to see it. And I feel like we should use some of these cool windows on this, like, kind of mud section I just decided to throw in. Oh! I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay, this is getting exciting, gang. This is... Oof, I hope you've got your excitement hel helmets on. I don't know. Look at those! How cool is that? Am I getting really overexcited by stuff that is not that exciting? But to me, it really is. Look at that. Look at this from the inside. How cool is that? Imagine being stood on here. Wait, let me just put a roof up. Look. You, wait, where am I? Who am I? There we go. Look, that would be so cool to stand out on. I think that's really cool. Oh, okay, I'm loving this house. I'm hoping there's gonna be a final cool door that I can put on the outside. Okay, we need an eco material. Oh my gosh rusted iron okay we have to decide which bits get the rusted iron and which bits don't because i feel like with houses there's a there's a knack to making certain bits like look right and also if you get it wrong it looks really bad guys what's a good way to decide okay save 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 thank you what is a good way to decide which bits do it and which bits don't it's hard. It's really hard. You guys, you were holding out on me. I had this the whole time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I want to cry when I look at that. Oh, we need some more windows. Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But I do this and I flatten it. I like this song. And then I do that. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Okay, gang. Okay. <laughs> this, this kind of building has never been seen before by my eyes, by my hands. Because I just don't usually know how to do anything in this game. Wait, can I not? Can I not? Oh, I can't. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, no. No. Oh, oh. No. No, 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 no. You get back. You No. Just one of you. Oh my gosh. Guys, 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 why is it still the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my whole life? Why is it, why is it still so tragic? Do I have to add more interesting shapes? How do I not, how do I not just make it look like a McMansion? It's so ugly. Maybe add the rusted iron. It is really ugly right now. I'm not even gonna like lie about that. I'm not even gonna try and lie about that. It's so ugly. I think a lot of these eco houses don't tend to be as high as I've gone. That is another thing that is definitely, because I like this shape, but I'm wondering if I should just take out this entire middle layer and drop everything down one.
That ain't it, Chief. <laughs> Maybe some flower boxes. You know what? You're right. You knew that was going on the corner. It always does, because I love her. Um, I'll never get bored of putting that in the corner. I'm going to put this here. I'm trying my hardest, guys. Paint those walls. Yes, good idea, Gangalang. Eco houses are kind of weird looking anyway. It's not meant to be like the most beautiful house you've ever seen. It's meant to be the most eco house you've ever seen. And that is a whole different concept. So we'll get there. Having a big creeper crawling at the front of your house like that is brave, brave decision. But the bees will be loving this and happy bees means uh, we'll all live longer as humanity and 2020 might not be our final year. So we should hold on to that. <laughs> we should try and work with the bees. Okay, it's definitely looking a lot prettier. If you disagree with me, um, then I think maybe um, your eyes is not looking properly. Because it's definitely looking better for, compared to the train wreck it was before. But I concede we do have a long way to go. That's fine. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, however, this house will be built in one live stream. So I kind of need to finish it off. Let's get some better foundations as well. Because let's face it, these ones is but ugly. Did they give us a new one? Ooh. Uh, does that look cool or does that look ugly? Remember, it's an eco house. And in my head, these plants will provide us with um less heat and bills work with me this tree does not stand a single chance in the uk the uk is laughing at that tree put a tree on the island on an island in the pool oh i like that idea it's still eco guys hush hush go underground i will be don't worry i just i don't i want to finish up on this section because then i'll just why have you got a lex over you i'll just feel a bit better if i can at least like know that i finished a chunk you know okay I still definitely need to put more windows in, but let us use the um, inside of the house as a guide for where to put the windows. I don't know why these are all along for the ride, but whatever. Okay, so we come into the house and we've got this cool archway straight away. And then we go into this huge open space. Please ignore him. He's not invited along. You were invited. Go away. One thing I'm going to have to plan is where to put the stairs, which I'm of the opinion we should probably do first. So stairs it's an eco house but i kind of still want nice wooden stairs just because i think it's going to be a little bit cozier and oh wow we got a lot of grass going into the house oh no there's for that and then i need i need to go downstairs what if i do ladders downstairs but do i want to climb up ladders in the morning when i'm getting out of bed this is meant to be my dream home i think somewhere along the way i forgot that but it is meant to be a dream home and then i'm thinking this is a huge like kitchen living area we need a way to get outside though, so what I'm thinking is I might take um, like a little bit from the pool again um, just to have a lot- oh wait, I can get down here. So much easier. Let's grab these stairs. Little door to get out, so this needs to be the kitchen dining. Uh, and I, I want open plan. Super beautiful open plan. So I feel like it needs to be very bright. Otherwise it, the open plan thing kind of just falls on its face a little bit, so. We will give them so much light that they don't even know what to do with it. A f an offensive amount of light. So let's design this room inside. Do we keep the whole wood vibes inside or do we switch to something else? Because it could be pretty cool to go wood inside. What about that? That's like warm earthy tones. Okay, why don't we like just try and place a little bit of furniture in and just see what happens. I'm gonna go for the eco pack flooring as well. I think it's a big enough room to go dark, maybe. Let's turn off grids. I know it's bold, but we'll put rugs and stuff down. This is the door to go outside. So we need to kind of base a lot of it around this door. Minor environmental gain. How have I not been looking at this the whole time? <laughs> I am a trash simmer. That's industrial. That's green. That is industrial, but it does give an environmental gain. So that's very confusing. Clean slate is um, green as well. Oh, that would be nice in a bathroom though, wouldn't it? You also kind of need a downstairs bathroom. I think one of these rooms is going to have to be a bathroom because it just makes sense to have a bathroom on the downstairs floor. I like using these end counters. I never used to know that they existed. So now that I know they exist, I can't stop using them. And let's put in food quality power consumption rate in. Oh man, is there like an eco-friendly cooker? I actually hate a fridge next to a cooker, but I don't really have a choice. Like I said, there isn't as much room to play with. Oh wait, I can put that there and I can get a whole, oh my gosh, yes. I can get a whole section back. Cause then I can put this and then I can put this and then I can put this. I'm trying to be eco -y, okay? We're gonna keep using eco living stuff, even if it hurts my eyes and offends them on a very deep level. 
Why don't we put a big cool chandelier over it? That'll make me happier. That light's really nice because I really like these, like, you know, like the Edison bulbs. I think that's really cool. Um, I don't want to go as crazy with lights as I usually would um, because it's not eco. So I'll try and be sensible with the lights and only put a few. Okay, so we got a little living area. Shall I throw us down um, a little rugin? Decorations. Let's stick to eco living for now because I'm kind of vibing this park. And let's throw down a rug. See if they've got any cool ones. Actually, maybe this one will be a good under the table kind of runner. Oh wow, this is the dullest rug I've ever seen in my whole life. Get out of my living room right now. You can go in here and just be like nondescript. Oh, no. <gasps> I love this though, I do love that. You see how this is like, it's made to look, um, I hope that doesn't stop anyone eating. But you know those um, bowls that you've, you've there's, I think it's like a, is it a Japanese thing? Where if you smash the dish, you repair it with gold to show that even if you are damaged, you can be repaired and be more beautiful than you were before. We love that. I did say um, I was gonna go CC on the furniture. However, I then realized that if you guys downloaded this off the gallery, you wouldn't be able to, um, oh, I really want a fireplace, but it's gonna mess with my environmental rating. But I'm gonna put it in anyway. Are people still gonna be able to get by there. I don't care, it's going there. I know it messes with my environmental rating, but you kind of need a fireplace in the UK. I'm just saying. Yeah, if, I, if you download it from the gallery, you won't be able to get, um, you, it won't work for you. So I want to make sure it works. Did they give us any eco living pictures? No, they did not. Mirrors they did. I think mirrors are always a good thing to have next, before you leave the house. I always like a mirror to check myself out in, just to, not, not like, hey. <laughs> But more to make sure I don't have anything on me. So we've got a mirror. Look at that, you can see the whole room through the mirror. Pretty cool, right? I'm now just, now that you've told me there's stuff here, I'm just placing it randomly around my house. So I hope you're happy with yourself. These are so cool. What even is all the stupid nonsense? I love it. I'm so confused on what any of it's supposed to be, but I absolutely love it all. Now look what you've made me do. Now I've got a nonsense house. I love them. <gasps> I don't know what this room, this is like the yoga room, isn't it? But it's also now the flip side room. Oh, <gasps> they've got a pink one. Oh my gosh, imagine trying to do yoga on corrugated steel. Just absolute hard no, that would be awful. Can't bother to do a toilet yet. Let me move on to something more fun. Like our cool bedroom, which also just happens to back onto a, cool, a pool. Just because I'm that cool. It's a cool pool. Okay, this is going to be quite hard to plan. Apparently there's just one bed bedroom in this whole house. I'm just messing here to see if I, I come up with anything that I like. Uh. Oh my gosh, what is that? <gasps> okay, I want to make a walk-in wardrobe and I need to make a bathroom as well. That's kind of a huge bedroom. It is. Claire, do you watch K-dramas? I do. I've actually just finished um, It Day One Class, so if anyone's got any recommendations, I am all ears because I need something new. I know it's meant to be eco, but you should have some little luxuries in life, okay? Some little things that just make you excited to get out of bed in the morning. Like a jacuzzi. <laughs> the stream has been live for two hours and 32 minutes. This is one of my longest streams. And I want to do a walk-in wardrobe. So, what I'm gonna do is, is the actual bedroom bit of this kind of small? Yeah, it is. So let's do it there here instead, maybe. But then it's a bit more symmetrical if I do it the other place. Symmetricalness comes above all. You want like a little place to sit and get ready and you also want some big mirrors to like try everything on. You can tell I never build with stuff from this actual game because if if I did, it wouldn't look like, like I, I just want to put CC in this so badly, but I want to make it available to you guys to download because I never do that. I never ever do that for you guys. So I think today I will do that for you guys. I don't know why I just have geodes now, but I do and some cheese. Okay, bedroom's kind of wild, let's face it. Maybe not even in a good way. And I'm kind of, you could definitely put more stuff in here, but I'm just kind of over it now. So do we do upstairs or do we do outside? Cause we've got this bit here that's just kind of a bit lost right now. It needs a bit of love. We need to give it some love. Like what is this even doing? It needs some like little plants around it and stuff. You know what I mean? I want to make, you know those cool steps using the debug object. What is the debug object that you use for those steps? Uh, this one. I start underground, don't I? Because then when you go out the pool, it's gonna look like cool steps going up. Okay, I might I might have to make them quite steep. I think I've done this once before. I think I did this in Seju's house. It took me so long in Seju's house because I did the blocks too small. You're gonna walk down and go straight into the plants like, oh, oh wait, you can move, definitely move. Oh no, oh no. 
Why do you think you're connected to the bit downstairs? I don't know. But you can most definitely move back one. So I even mad. Yeet. Yeet, yeet. Sort your life out, Claire. Let's get ourselves some eco outdoor stuff right now. This house is so cute. But what all the neighbors think, they're probably clutching their pearls. I actually definitely bet the neighbors are doing a lot of pearl clutching right now. Pearl clutch away, we ain't changing it. This is our home, okay? Iron Oasis, I love that. It's our base game. That's great. I like putting things under shade because I don't like the sun. So put bees, bees is a good idea. I like that idea. Hydro oh, hydrophonic planters. Oh my gosh, I have one of these in my kitchen. Oh, well, that is just a whole vibe, isn't it? And honestly, I'm just gonna pick some plants and then I'm gonna say this is done for now. I'll put it on the gallery. Maybe you guys can finish it however you want. Um, and I might come back to it. That would be nice to sit out with, wouldn't it? That would be dead cute. You'd be like, ooh, this is this is a lovely place you've created here, Claire. And I'd be like, thanks for coming around. That would be real nice. Gorgeous. Okay, guys, I think we leave it there for now. There's definitely a whole lot more in this house to do, like the studio and everything like that. However, from where it started, I think we've ended up somewhere pretty cool. There would be a lot more windows to put on. Like, you'd want to put windows here and stuff, for sure. But I think we've made a pretty good start. I will upload it as it is, just so that you guys can let me know uh, what you think about it as well. Just suddenly realized that would look quite cool there. Um, and kind of give your thoughts and opinions as well. But could you live in a little eco house? The biggest disappointment to me is the front. Because like this bit here, especially, I just don't really know what it's doing. I don't think it knows what it's doing either which is just all in all a little bit annoying and disappointing. Got like a little bit of plantage hanging up it and then we could always like just, you know, grow slightly up it or like have this kind of on the corner and, you know, we can kind of do some stuff to make it a little bit more visually appearing, but appealing. But, oh my gosh, oh, three hours and 21 minutes. That is a long stream. That is a long stream. I think it looks pretty good in the end. It doesn't help that like this is the neighborhood, like what is even happening? It's so ugly, it's so ugly. Um, but I think in live mode, everything would be like turning, it'd be looking all cute. Is there a way to clean up this trash from the neighborhood? Cause it really like bothers my eyes quite a lot. I think it's quite a nice little eco home. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I like it, I'd live there but maybe I just got no taste. I don't know, I'm gonna try and get inside. I can't speed my camera up, but the setting doesn't work for me, which is very annoying. Um, I like this room. I think you've got like a cool thing to look out onto. Um, obviously it'd be nicer if the neighbors made more effort, but whatevs. Little cool room here. You've got, wow, here's since the beginning, nice. You've got a little yoga room here. You've got a bathroom that I got bored of, so we won't dwell too much on that. And then will it let me go downstairs? No, I didn't think it would. Downstairs, we've got our, it's kind of mud, I know, but look, that's cool. You feel like you're underwater and this bit in the middle provides a little bit of privacy, which is always nice. And then you've got your bedroom with bathroom and walk-in wardrobe, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll add it to the gallery once this goes live on my channel. This is gonna be fun to try and cut down into a video, but let me know what you guys think if you liked it. And I am gonna go and rest my little eyes for a while. Thank you so much if you've been here since the beginning. Thank you so much if you've been building up your little peaches. I appreciate and love you guys so, so much. And I'm gonna end my stream here. So thank you so much for watching. Bye, 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 bye.